Greetings Earthlings. I am happy to announce that we might not be alone. Of course, many of you already know this. But it's now been proven with awesome super-powered telescopes. Now, when you look up into the night sky it is located between the constellation Cygnus and Lyra at right ascension 19h 16 meters 52.2 sec and declination plus 47 deg 53 mean 4.2 sec. Kepler-22, aka Kepler-22a, is a G-type star, approximately 600 light-years from Earth, that holds within its solar system the first planet identified to be unequivocally within an Earth-like habitable zone. Kepler-22 is slightly smaller and cooler than the Sun, discovery of planet in Earth-like habitable zone. On December 5, 2011, the scientific community announced that a possible Earth-like world, Kepler-22b, had been discovered orbiting in the star's habitable zone. This was significant in that it was the first relatively Earth-sized extrasolar planet confirmed to be orbiting unequivocally within a star's habitable zone, Kepler-22b, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Rather than make up my own story, I will share the latest version of Wikipedia entry, which was last modified on 7th of December 2011 at 15.08. Since Wikipedia article is constantly changing, future versions might show different text. The article is now locked, as there is discussions on the discussion tab to help improve the article. Kepler-22b is the first confirmed extrasolar planet which could be a super-Earth orbiting in the habitable zone of a sun-like star discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Discovery The discovery was announced December 5, 2011. The planet was originally discovered on Kepler's third day of science operations in mid-2009. The third transit was detected in late 2010. Additional confirmation data was provided by the Spitzer Space Telescope and ground-based observations. The planet's radius is roughly 2.4 times the radius of Earth. It is 600 light-years away from Earth, in orbit around the G-type star Kepler-22. Composition and structure The distance from Kepler-22b to its host star is about 15% less than the distance from Earth to the Sun but the luminosity light output of Kepler-22b's star is about 25% less than that of the Sun. This combination of a shorter distance from the star and a lower stellar luminosity are consistent with a moderate surface temperature. Scientists estimate that in the absence of an atmosphere, the equilibrium temperature would be approximately minus 11 Celsius. If the atmosphere provides a greenhouse effect similar in magnitude to the one on Earth, the planet would have an average surface temperature of 22 degrees Celsius 72 Fahrenheit, at 2.4 times the size of the Earth. Kepler-22b is substantially larger than Earth and may therefore have a different composition. For example, the newly discovered planet may not be Earth-like, but rather more like Neptune which is mostly ocean with a small rocky core. Nonetheless, Natalie Batalla, one of the scientists on the project, speculated it's not beyond the realm of possibility that life could exist in such an ocean. See also, other Wikipedia articles, Kepler-22. Gliese 581d, HD 85512b, Planetary Habitability and Super-Earth Notes. The calculations are shown on the page along with all of the reference links. Thanks for watching. Please check the latest Wikipedia articles for more exciting updates. Bye for now.